Hi there, it's me. Uh, I'm still recording in my car, but I've got the screen capture on my laptop. I've got the Blue Yeti microphone that I'm speaking into. I'm, I'm doing this like a professional for you folks, for all four of you subscribers. Uh, so last week, I reviewed Digital Lizards of Doom Level 1, Dizzy Doom, and I don't think that I was harsh, but basically, I like the art, I love the coloring, I actually like the story, I just didn't care for the format. I like to think of it like this, um, you go into a restaurant, you ask for Coke, they say, is Pepsi okay? And on the inside, you're like, not today, no. No, Pepsi's not okay. In fact, not any day. When I ask for Coke, I want Coke. And I know that you have it in your power to go find a fridge in some 7-Eleven and get a Coke. Uh, but instead, since you're around friends and family, you just say, yeah, Pepsi's fine. <laughs> you don't want to come off as crazy, right? You drink the Pepsi, you go on with your day. That's what happened. I'm used to Coke. I like Coke. If a Pepsi comes across, I'm not going to throw it away. I'll take a Pepsi. I willingly bought a Pepsi. That's just what this was. So, I'm not expecting much engagement on my videos, so color me shocked when I see that somebody's commented on my video. Well, this is good. It bumps me up in the algorithm. Fantastic. Gets more eyes on my video. All right. So, I go over to see who it is, and it's the Digital Lizards of Doom. And I was kind of... Mm, scared isn't the word, but I was kind of tense initially. Because I thought to myself, what would I do if I was met with criticism? What would I do if somebody spent 12 minutes saying they didn't like my work of art? My baby. Well, they might watch my other video and determine that this neck-bearded mouth breather probably isn't worth their time. In which case, they wouldn't comment at all. But... Clearly, they hadn't gone that route. They'd commented. Okay, so maybe they'd leave a scathing <laughs> comment, you know? They'd call me all sorts of names and tell me to put large objects up small orifices of mine, um, tell my mother to go down to the center of the earth. Or maybe they could go some legalistic route. They could say, look, man, this is our bread and butter. You are showing too many pages. We need you to take this down. I don't know how copyright strike works, but honestly, if a creator came to me like that and said, you show too much, I would either offer to re-upload, edit it, show less, you know, show less pages, or I would just say, or I can take it down entirely. I'm not against that. It's your baby, all right? But instead, they complimented me. <laughs> And I was not prepared for that. So, it starts off with, Dude! I'd made very clear in my review that I did not like the dude humor. So, they do this to, you know, offer some levity. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was a great way to break the ice. Lol, honestly, man, we really loved the review. Bummed you didn't enjoy the book, but it was a solid and honest review. We are looking forward to more in the future. Stoked to be hearing about you on the grand floor. Congratulations on the channel, and we wish you all the best. Peace, man. And then they comment a second time. Another one. Also, we forgot to say thank you for picking up the book and the review. Again, we know you didn't like it, but it means the world to us that someone is putting our artwork out into the world. So thank you. Keep crushing it. In all of my years of the internet, ladies and gentlemen, I was not prepared for this level of positivity and good vibes. <laughs> I wasn't. I, I was, you know, caught off balance. So, what could I do? Well, I looked into their channel. I wanted to make sure it was legit. And either it's a super fan, or it's very clearly them. Uh, there are tons of music videos on the channel. It's very likely them. So, I'd mentioned that I'd listened to one song of theirs and I didn't care for it. So, I decided to listen to another. I, li <laughs> I, love, I love both their faces. It's a great little moment. Because he's had an, enough beers that he starts throwing up the shaka for no reason. <laughs> and, this, <laughs> and this lady's like, we are in Des Moines, Iowa. We are nowhere near the beach. Why are you throwing up the shaka? 
I love it, though. Good good vibes from both of them. They're both enjoying this beer, clearly. Uh, I listened to Make a Toast, and I liked it. It's jilty, it's fun, it's energetic, it's electric, it's kind of old-timey and renaissance -y. I don't know how to describe it. But uh, I saw another video in my recommended feed, so I listened to that. I listened to Betsy Babe, an acoustic song, and I thought it was great. It reminded me of songs that I listened to in high school that I would have loved. This is a band that my friends and I would have followed. So I looked up on YouTube again, Digital Lizards of Doom, and I found this masterpiece. I mean, that's just what this is. It's amazing. They took their own song <laughs> and made it metal. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it's awesome. I'm laughing because it's such a why not approach to creativity that I think I finally get what these guys are about. I think I understand why they were such a success. It's because when somebody critiques them, they say, hey, that's your opinion, and we love you for it. And, you know, sometimes the, the universe, it whispers in your ear and it says, look straight ahead and focus, because something's coming your way and you're going to want to pay attention. And what I had to pay attention to here was the fact that when I saw that there was a comment from them on my YouTube video, my immediate assumption was, what would I do? Well, I would do something nasty. I would ask for it to be taken down. I wouldn't comment on it at all. It wouldn't be worth my time. Or I would call them all sorts of names. And if I'm going to be any sort of creative person who's putting out product, I can't have that mindset. These guys rewired my brain. <laughs> so much so that I started looking for their beer. I still can't find it. You know, when we're allowed to go to concerts again in 2035 or whatever, I'm going to buy some tickets for me and my friends to go see them. And I'm going to tell my friends, look, bring some Benjis so we can buy some t-shirts. Because I know these t-shirts are going to be great. And look at this. This thing's a success. $35,000. I know that when level two comes out, they're, they're going to get $50,000, 60000 you know, and the backer number is going to increase too, because word of mouth is going to go out. You're going to get people who are uh, buying the book, either digital release or, you know, from their website. You're going to get 500, 600 backers. Uh, this second, the second volume is going to be kicking. It's going to be it. And even if I don't buy it, I'll probably share the link. I'll probably tell people to support it because you know what? These guys know how to treat customers. They treat customers in a way that I couldn't imagine customers could be treated. And it affected me so much that for two nights I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> and I'm not trying to obsess. I really just, my obsession was I needed to put these thoughts into a video and put them on the internet so that people could call me an idiot. And, but also so that somewhere down the line, seven years from now, when I'm putting out, you know, my own stuff, and it gets critiqued, um, somebody can send me this video and remind me not to let my ego get in the way of a good relationship with a client, even a client who does not like my work. Um, the Digital Lizards of Doom are great. The book is not for me, but the group, the PR team, <laughs> videographer, Everybody involved in this multi-level project are good people, honestly. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I wanted to say. Um, tell me what you think about this video. Do you like this format? I've got some digital comics that I can read while I wait for the physical copies. Um, you know, I, I've got a few ideas. Do you want me to read... An indie comic that just recently came out, one that came out some time ago. I could go into my history and show you some of the comics that uh, got me into comics. They're a bit more mainstream, but nothing wrong with that. Or, you know, I could, uh, I could get into ASMR. I don't know. 
<laughs> I'm not going to do that. I have too much pride to start slurping spaghetti on in front of the microphone. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for listening to this rant. Um, find me, follow me, like, and subscribe. Donate if you can. I'm going to include the link for this campaign. It is still in demand. Folks, I honestly believe that you could get this to 40000 If you like the art at all, or if you're thinking, mm, I could do it, but uh, maybe I'll wait or something, get it now. If you're fans of these guys, get it now. I see their subscriber count. It's more than 405. Get the book. If you like them, you'll like the book. Um, except for me. But I... <laughs> But I like them after the fact. That's all it is. Uh, and if the Digital Lizards of Doom are watching this, uh, sorry for obsessing over you guys for a week now. Um, I swear it stops here. Uh, but much love to you. Anyway, um, until next time, hasta luego. <laughs>